16. The idea that e-waste regulations can be ineffective is conveyed in the excerpt through what? Okay. So the idea that e-waste regulations are ineffective. Well, we talked about regulations. So again, this is going to help us knowing that we went through paragraph by paragraph. The discussion of regulations occurred in paragraph five. Part of the problem is regulatory, right? But it doesn't really say why they're ineffective in that paragraph. It then goes on to say that even when rules exist, so paragraph six, when the rules do exist, Fair is saying there's not enough regulation, even when they exist, 16 says people just don't behave. They don't follow it. They don't do it. So I think that's going to be the idea that's the answer behind this question, right? That's when regulations were ineffective because of people and their individual behavior. So E, a statistic indicating that only a few states have chosen to adopt? No, that was paragraph five, and that's not an answer to the question. E is wrong. F, an observation about typical consumer behavior in response to e-waste regulations. So an observation about typical consumer behavior, they throw out their phones. That's exactly what paragraph six says. F is the answer to the question. G, an acknowledgement that electronic stores sometimes profit in e-waste regulations. No, that's not in there at all. H, a comment that manufacturers are making an effort to recycle even without e waste regulations. No, that's not really the problem that they're ineffective at all. F is the correct answer.